Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. To celebrate the first anniversary of the Smart Set Collection by our Duchess in partnership with four brands for her patronage SmartWorks, SmartWorks Charity have released a video of Megan charting to Carla, Charlene, and Agnieszka. Three previous clients to see how their time at SmartWorks has helped transform their lives. Hello. Hello. I've heard all of your stories and I mean, my goodness, so much success with all the new job hires that you have and just amazing to see what's happened, especially with what everyone in the world has gone through in the past couple of months. Which one of you wants to start and just tell me about what your experience has been like and, and how you're feeling now? All of it is so important. I've been with my current employee for 20 years, so it's a big change. I'm going from an air hostess, like a hostie to a postie. So it's a completely different job. <laughs> so I'm really nervous. Um, obviously- But you're gonna be great because also you had options, right? Didn't you get offered all three of the- Yeah, I got three interviews and I got all three jobs. Oh. I just felt, and at the time, obviously I've never been for an interview for 20 years. It was completely different. Like. When I went for my interview 20 years ago, there was none of these scenario questions, that kind of thing. So they really, really coached me and got me ready. And I felt so confident. When the clothes arrived, I didn't actually go into the center because of COVID. They sent out the clothes and they fitted amazing. And then I put them on and that was just the last piece really of just feeling confident. And people can say that so much of SmartWorks is about the clothes themselves, but it's, it's it's really not, you know? I mean, all of that stuff is the exterior, but it's what it does for you on the inside that ends up being the best accessory, right? It's the confidence, it's what built within that is the piece that you walk out of that room with and walk into that interview with that, that will take you to the next layer of success. And that's what I love so much about the organization. My experience, I actually went into the branch uh, twice. I had two dress fittings and both times were absolutely amazing. Um, I was made redundant after six and a half years of being a family support worker and I didn't have any interview skills or I did but you know I needed brushing up yes. and I if they're um, you know just to talk to someone and ask the questions what you normally ask in an interview it wasn't about the clothes it wasn't about the bags and the coat it was more about them helping me with my interview questions to get prepared so I felt confident mm -hmm. and I actually I didn't get that job, but I actually got another another job that I really wanted. Um, I'm due to start on Monday. Um, I'm feeling really excited. I'm feeling so excited. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait just to get back out there and do something that I really enjoy. And mm -hmm. uh, I, will, I will be wearing my clothes to work as well as my coat. Um, Fantastic. It was open day uh, in Salford Civic Council. Uh, and on the open day, uh, SmartWorks had a stand with a lady handing out the leaflets. Uh, mm -hmm. I was on a rush because that was uh, at the end of the, at, actually at uh, uh, exit of the room. So I just took the leaflet, uh, not for anything about it, uh, put in my bag. After uh, thinking, uh, well, my interview is actually coming next week. Shall I give it a go and call the lady, see what the service is about just to if they can maybe just help somehow. Very welcome, amazing room. Uh, everybody's just friendly. Yes. Uh, listen to me, uh, whatever question they ask, they were just happy to help with. As women, so often it's easy to forget all of your skills and your assets and not that they're not there, but you need someone sometimes to point them out for you and you go, oh, that's right. You know, and I think that is, that's critical because what I find is the women who volunteer at SmartWorks, especially with that program for the mentorship and, and with the interview training, is that they're not pointing out something that doesn't exist. They're seeing it in you for the first time. What is the best tip that you received from the process of being at SmartWorks or the one key thing that you learned that you would pass on? I would say believe in yourself. Everything's and in there, it's just getting it out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's so true. Charlie, yeah, you be, be confident, confident. Yeah. and just go for it. That will be my thing. Just go for it. Don't second guess. Don't overthink it. 
just go for it. Well done. I don't think there's any way we can end on wiser words than those. We are excited for you and I'm just so proud that, you know, the work that SmartWorks is doing has been able to help all of you and that you're able to still speak of it really positively for your friends who might be looking for the same sort of support. Um, well done, ladies. And good luck on your first day. Thank you. I want to say thank you. It, it really has helped us all. Another report. Some fans think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should have just stayed in Canada instead of moving to Los Angeles. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, shocked the world when they stepped down from being senior royals earlier this year. The couple has since been spending most of their time in North America. They stayed in Canada for some time before moving to Southern California, where they recently bought a home. Although the Sussexes seem to be getting comfortable in California, some fans think it would have made more sense for Harry and Meghan to live in Canada instead of Los Angeles. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spent a few months in Canada earlier this year. In late 2019, Harry and Meghan went to Vancouver Island, Canada. It was initially thought that this would simply be a short trip abroad for the couple and their son, Archie. However, Harry and Meghan ended up staying in Canada until March 2020. In Canada, the Sussexes stayed in a $14 million mansion. It comes with five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a cottage, and more. The mansion is located in a rather secluded area with a lot of privacy and security for the world, famous family. Harry and Meghan moved to Los Angeles in March. In late March, Harry and Meghan decided to move to Los Angeles just as the coronavirus COVID-19. Some fans think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should have just stayed in Canada instead of moving to Los Angeles. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, shocked the world when they stepped down from being senior royals earlier this year. The couple has since been spending most of their time in North America. They stayed in Canada for some time before moving to Southern California, where they recently bought a home. Although the Sussexes seem to be getting comfortable in California, some fans think it would have made more sense for Harry and Meghan to live in Canada instead of Los Angeles. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spent a few months in Canada earlier this year. In late 2019, Harry and Meghan went to Vancouver Island, Canada. It was initially thought that this would simply be a short trip of why do some fans think Harry and Meghan shouldn't have stayed in Canada? While Harry and Meghan are getting comfortable in California, some fans think it would have made more sense for them to just stay in Canada, especially since they are British royals in Canada is part of the British Commonwealth. One person said, I know there's a bunch of reasons why they didn't, mainly that Meghan wanted to live in Los Angeles and there were probably legal issues about staying when neither are citizens. However, living in a Commonwealth country would have at least made their weird pseudo-royal charity visits make more sense. They could have been some sort of Canadian arm of the British royal family. The person also added that Canada could offer the Sussexes more relief from the press than Los Angeles. There's no celebrity scene there, so no paparazzi and they definitely have more privacy in their day-to-day -day life. Other users agreed, with one even saying Canada would have been a good compromise to Harry and Meghan wanting to be away from the British press. Of course, it is not clear if this idea was ever brought up in the royal family. However, it seems Harry and Meghan ultimately decided living in Los Angeles was the best option for them. Check out one of our newest videos right here plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.